to have your copy of Where Are God's Miracles Today, Church, by Dr. Indy Aldu. Visit MyMiracleTV.org or call right now at 1229-638-1065. It's good to know that God's genes, DNA, and personality are full of miracles hands down. For him, it is easily natural to be supernatural. Therefore, any church, preacher, or religious person who rejects God's miracles rejects God himself. Sadly, today's Christianity is full of man-made religious programs, dead theological sermons, emotional ceremonies, and phony rituals. But where are God's real miracles? So call 1-229-638-1065 now. Or visit MyMiracleTV.org to get your copy of Where Are God's Miracles Today, Church. For over 30 years in nearly 40 nations around the world, God has been using Dr. Andy Aldo mightily, according to John 14, 12, to raise many physically dead and dying people, heal the sick, operate many special miracles, as well as winning many sinners to Christ. As the author of the internationally best-selling series known as Raising the Dead, Dr. Odu has been honorably received by many world leaders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, log on to RaisingTheDead.org for additional details because Dr. Odu is coming to your area for a great meeting and you need to be there. Over the whole world and preaching in the majestic name of Jesus Christ, and this is the reason the danger broadcasting, multicasting, as we are blanketing the whole world with the good news of Jesus Christ Himself, the King and the God of miracles. Hallelujah! The Son of the Almighty God and God Himself becoming human without sin to become the Savior the deliverer and the liberator, the healer and the blesser of the human race. I'm your host, Dr. N.D. Audu from Taraba State, Nigeria in West Africa but living here in the United States and I'm very grateful to God that every time he gives me the opportunity to speak out and particularly show forth or demonstrate the good news of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. Now to those of you that have been enjoying this program, you've been viewing it and watching it for years now, we are welcoming you again and for your persistence, uh, determination not to miss uh, any one of our broadcasts. And those of you that are new, uh, come us on board, we welcome you too, gloriously in the name of our Lord. And we throw the invitation that on a regular basis, if you are listening through the radio, through the television, you're welcome on a regular basis to participate on the internet at www.mymiracletv.org. You can watch our program any time of the day and any time of the night, I mean 24 hours, around the whole world, 365 days in a year and 366 days in a year. This is a global telecast that nobody will have to miss. So tell other people, invite friends and neighbors, relatives, wherever they are on the surface of the globe to tune in at mymiracletv.org or raisingthedead.org and you can watch live broadcasts and a lot of testimonies. Now we are having nearly 200 video clips of testimonies and teachings and a lot of resources that you can enjoy on mymiracletv.org and you can be following my itineraries, my activities as I am sent by God, traveling all over the world, wherever I will be, in any city or state or nation, so that you will love to be there too and enjoy uh, the meetings, and particularly see what God does on a regular basis through our ministry. Amen. We are, I will just break away a little bit, you know, from the teachings I've been given really about God's kind, or God's vision about marriage and family, just to bring some uh, uh, highlight and latest testimonies of the great things God has just done this week as uh, my crusade team and I we are going publicly on the streets in the neighborhood in great events as uh, we take the gospel of Jesus Christ with great 
I mean, I see stupendous, mind-blowing miracles, signs and wonders on the street publicly. And American people, and particularly here in the state of Georgia, people are watching and they are wow, they are stunned, they are bamboozled by what God does today. And the Bible is becoming alive to a lot of people who wrote the church out thinking that Christianity is a dead religion like Islam or any religion out there. Now they are realizing that Christianity is getting fired up again and God is using this African man to bring revolution to the American church and American public and they are seeing things they've never seen before or some of them maybe they saw it when they were just little children they saw it only one time in their lifetime and now God is allowing them to stand here among the crowds to be watching these miracles happen instantaneously suddenly miracles from God healings deliverances and guess what people break down and cry or run forward they want to get saved hallelujah so we're going to hear what God has done and I will just entitle this program today as Pentecost in the city of Newtown Georgia Pentecost the Pentecostal fire the Pentecostal revolution that he that city just yesterday Saturday uh, which is uh, November the 9th and I know this program will be replayed in the future but I'm telling you God is doing mighty things right now all over the state of Georgia ever since he moved me, moved me from Florida to Georgia and now we're taking the revolution from city to city county to county and we are going to be hitting other states of United States and carrying it over again to overseas like I used to do when God was using me in Europe in France particularly so now let's take to our Bibles and I'm going to read something and I uh, will pause for some moments and pray because I want God to burn this message, these testimonies into the hearts of whosoever uh, is listening or whosoever uh, as a group that might be listening or watching this program that God will fire your heart up with passion and compassion. Passion for God and compassion for your fellow human beings, sinners that are on their ways precipitously heading to uh, eternal damnation in hell so that we can snatch as many as possible from the grips of the devil. Amen. We're reading from the book of Acts, the Acts of the Holy Ghost, through the Apostles, chapter 2. And as I say, I titled this message today, Pentecost in the city of Newtown, or they call it Newtown, but I call it Newtown, Newtown, Georgia. Uh, that is in Baker County, not far away from Albany, Georgia. I think it's just about 20, maximum 30 miles from uh, from Albany, depending upon what, what part of Albany you're driving from. Can anything good come from Africa? Well, read Failure to Success by Dr. N.D. Alder. This is a very fascinating and captivating success story of a distinguished African. Dr. Alder was nearly killed by abortion but was miraculously protected by God. He was born in poverty and hardship, then taken into heaven in a vision and sent back to earth by God with a great and remarkable message of power and unspeakable miracles, even to the point of raising many people from the dead, which is turning the world upside down. Therefore, no matter how distressful your life might have begun, read Failure to Success and see your life completely turned around. To have your copy of this inspirational book, log on to www.mymiracletv.org or call right now at 1-229-638-1065. There is no problem in your life that God cannot solve. Are you sick, dying, sad, troubled, rejected, lonely, hopeless, worrying, frustrated, afraid, depressed, suicidal, broke, busted, and disgusted, or willing to give up on life, your answer can be found in God is Bigger Than All Your Problems by Dr. Indy Aldu, the international bestseller. Get your copy now by calling 1-229-638-1065 or visit MyMiracleTV.org.
working hard in this. You get out of it. And this is the of depression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Call 1-229-638-1065 right now or visit MyMiracleTV.org to get your personal copy of The Positive Power of Negative Effects written by Dr. Indy Audi, the international bestseller, which may help you turn every obstacle you confront into the opportunity of your success in life. So we are going to read that chapter 2 from verse 1. When the day of Pentecost came, I'm reading from the Good News uh, version, uh, which is today's English version, 
I normally I use uh, uh, King James a lot, but I, I take sometimes other versions too. And so it says here, when the day of Pentecost came, King James version says, when the day of Pentecost fully came, fully, totally, it was complete. It was nothing missing, nothing lacking. So God set up that day particularly. So when the day of Pentecost came, all the believers were gathered together in one place. Suddenly, there was a noise from the sky which sounded like the, a strong wind blowing and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then they saw what looked like tongues of fire which spread out and touched each person there. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit and they began to speak or to talk in other languages as the Spirit enabled them to speak. Particularly verse 5. There were Jews living in Jerusalem, religious men who had come from every country in the world. When they heard this noise, a large crowd gathered. They were all excited because each of them heard the believers talking in his own language. In amazement and wonder, they exclaimed, These people who are talking like, like Galileans, let me read it again. These people who are talking like these are Galileans. How is it then that all of us hear them speaking in our own native languages? That is the languages of the nations where they were spread out with because of the deportations and persecutions against the Jews. They were spread all over the world. They were, I mean, many, many nations. So some of them were born there, some of them grew up there. So they were speaking foreign languages, even though they were Jews. So now they're hearing these Galileans, these believers, 120 of them, as the Holy Spirit fell upon them with great sign, the evidence, you saw the fire on the head of everybody. This is not a normal fire. This is the same fire that Moses saw in the land of Media or by the Mount Sinai when the Lord visited him and he saw the, the, the fire you know, burning the bush but not consuming it. It's the same fire that came down from heaven on and on. The fire of Elijah. Fire, fire, fire. Fire of God. Hallelujah. This is not a man-made type of fire. It's not artificial fire. It's not synthetic fire. This is Holy Ghost fire. Hallelujah. So verse 9 says, Now, when, you know, we are, now this is what the crowd of those Jews who gathered in Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost was saying, We are from Parthia. We are from Media. We are from Elam. We are from Mesopotamia, we are from Judea, we are from Cappadocia, we are from Pontius in Asia, we are from Phrygia, we are from Pamphylia, we are from Egypt in Africa, and we are from regions of Libya in Africa, we are uh, near Cyrene, still in Africa. You know, some of us are from Rome, living in Rome, these are Jews living in Italy in Rome, and both Jews and Gentiles converted to Judaism. And some of us are from Crete, you know, Crete, Crete, and some from Arabia, Saudi Arabia, where Muhammad was born and where Islam was born. Okay, this happened. I'm, I'm telling you, this is good that we know the scriptures very well. Hallelujah! Yet, all of us hear them speaking in our own languages about the great things, the marvelous things, the miraculous things that God has done. Verse twelve. Amazed and confused. The crowd was amazed and confused now. Of course, you know, when God steps in, He messes up man's, you know, agenda, man's program. Because ours is well calculated and we're working with philosophy and science and technology that everything has to be major up here and there. But God will come and blow up our man-made agendas and then the supernatural will take over. Hallelujah! Glory be to God. So now it says again in verse 12 of Acts chapter 2. Amazed and confused, they kept asking each other, What does this mean? It's strange to them, am I right? What does it mean? Why are they speaking in tongues, in different languages that, you know, we can understand them. They may not understand what they are saying, but we understand it because they are speaking our own languages, where we were born, and the tribes and the races where we live among them, we learn their languages, so we can understand these disciples. But others made fun or they made mockery of the believers saying, 
these people are drunk. Anyway, they are not far from telling the truth. They were drunk, but not drunk in a devilish way. No, with mommy, alcohol and whiskey and champagne and drugs. This is Holy Ghost drunkenness here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I remember this very well. While I was invited from France to go to England and preach there, uh, a Baptist church, you know, you know some of my Baptist brothers, as good as wonderful, I love them, you know, but sometimes we are so so dried up, you know, we're so doctrinally, uh, you know, uh, I can say, you know, glue down in uh, here speaking about this, and uh, sometimes they're fighting against what really is good for them. And so, you know, they were dry, and they called this African preacher to bring the fire to England. So I came there and I was uh, hosted, you know, by a, a, a wonderful Baptist brother there with his congregation. And uh, they had a meeting, they organized the meeting, and the place was packed. You know, out of curiosity, they wanted, they wanted to hear this African man tell about the wonderful things God was doing through him in France, as many, many people were healed and delivered and raised up from the dead in France. So I arrived there and I was ministering, and suddenly the power of God fell in that place. People, I mean, that was in the 80s, 1983. I never knew much about the European, or I'm sorry, the American way of people falling down. I was seeing all of that in Europe. People were falling down in the services, and then they were screaming and crying and speaking in tongues. Filled up with the Holy Spirit, they were speaking in tongues. And I didn't even teach them, I didn't speak in tongues in one hour, just teaching the Word of God and the ministry. Then the power of God fell. And people were getting drunk in the spirit. Drunk, really drunk. I'm not saying that they're doing stupid things. But they were drunk and God took over the whole meeting. This is a very special announcement to all. If you're tired of empty religious hypes without power, all roads lead to the Miracle Center. Here's your opportunity to witness real-life miracles with Dr. Ndi Adu, who has been taken into heaven and sent back to earth by God. A native of Nigeria, Dr. Adu is used mightily by Jesus to raise the dead, heal the sick, operate special miracles, and win many people to Christ. Join us every Sunday at 2 p.m., Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the Miracle Center, 1012 North Van Buren Street in Albany. For more information, log on to MyMiracleTV.org or call 229-638-1065. Where God is, there are evidential miracles, and miracles are God's signatures to validate His messages and messengers. In Dr. Aldi's very powerful book entitled Miracles Are God's Scientists, you'll read all about some of the mind-shattering miracles that the Lord has been doing through His international ministry. As many dead people are raised up, the blind see, demons cast out, the lame walk, the deaf and dumb both hear and speak, nations are shaken up, natural elements are reversed, and multitudes of sinners are saved, etc. To order your copy of Miracles Are God's Scientists, visit MyMiracleTV.org or call 1-229-638-1065. Have you been working very hard but going nowhere in life? Are you struggling to survive in your health, dreams, business, finances, studies, marriage, family, and relationships, but life does not seem fair? 
Read Man Labors But God Favors by Dr. N.D. Alton. To buy your copy, visit MyMiracleTV.org or call 1-229-638-1065 right now. Get your copy of Impossibility is Not in God's Vocabulary by Dr. N.D. Aldu and your life will never be the same. In this faith-boosting book, Dr. Aldu shows you step-by-step that if God Almighty is with you, then there is no problem in your life, big or small, that cannot be solved with His all-possible power. To get your copy of Impossible is Not God's Vocabulary, call one 229 Six three eight one zero six five. Right now, or visit mymiracletv.org. Jesus commands all of his followers in John fourteen twelve by saying, "Anyone who truly believes him shall be able to do the same great miracles that he did, and shall be able to do even greater miracles because he has gone back to the Father in heaven." Taking the Lord very seriously at his commands, Dr. N.D. Aldu from Nigeria, Africa, has been used powerfully by God to raise many physically dead and dying people for over 35 years worldwide. Now, with those tangible proofs and experiences following his global ministry today, he has written an international best-selling series known as Raising the Dead. In this entire how-to best-selling series, Dr. Aldu reveals and teaches what God taught him personally and practically during a nearly four-hour vision in heaven concerning what is death and where did it come from, what to do or not to do to raise the dead, how to raise the dead, why we need to raise the dead, when to raise the dead, and where to raise the dead, so that you too can do the same and impact your world for God. In order to buy these life-changing and revolutionary international bestsellers, log on to www.mymiracletv.org right now.